Hey, how we doing everyone? So in today's video, I wanted to go over my current LED lighting setup, the changes I've recently made to the whole desk setup in general, the LED light strip that is behind my table, these nano leaf lights that I've recently set up over here. We have these ones over here as well. Just a lot of light around this entire section. And these are especially helpful for when I have my camera set up behind the monitor here facing me. The lights behind there provide so much light to like really light my face up, which is very, very handy. That is one of the main reasons I set them up over here. And for those wondering, the reason I went for an X shape is because I have a lot of like X shapes in this setup. As you can maybe see, <laughs> of course, we have some table legs right here that are shaped like X's. I really like them. They're so sick in my opinion. And we also have some fans also with X shapes. I don't know why there's like X shapes everywhere, but hey, that is how the setup is in 2022. And I gotta say, I'm a fan. This is probably one of the coolest setups I've ever built and put together. There's kind of like a theme going on for once whilst still maintaining a very minimalistic look. With these LED lights, let's go ahead and quickly talk about these Nano Leafs. So these are, I believe they're called the, the Rhythm Kit from Nano Leaf. They do have some new ones available nowadays called like Nano Leaf Shapes or nano leaf triangles. I'm gonna have some links in the video description down below, of course, to the ones I'm using and the new ones in case you wanna go look at those. So I'm sat here editing the video and uh, I was just about to add some screenshots from Amazon or maybe the nano leaf page to the video to show you guys some pricing comparisons. And uh, I'm scrolling through these images on the Amazon listing. Then I came across this one. <laughs> I think nano leaf and I came up with a very, very similar design when it came to these uh, nano leaf shapes, right? Like, <laughs> that is uh, surprisingly similar, isn't it? But what I've gone ahead and recently done with both of these nano leaf lights behind my setup and in front of my setup is I've added some Stream Deck integration with nano leaf. So we have two icons here, one with an X, one with an I. I think you can imagine where this is going. If we press the X icon, boom, these nano leaves turn off. And if we press it again, they turn back on, pretty sick. And of course, if we press the eye icon, then these ones will turn off. And if we press it again, then they will turn back on. You can set up way more complicated features with this Nano Leaf and Stream Deck integration, like set up scenes instead of just an off and on switch. But that is all I've done with this one. I've just made some custom icons in Photoshop. Apparently, not only can we sync up Nano Leafs to the Elgato Stream Deck, but GoV also have integration with the Elgato Stream Deck. So we have some basic stuff like off, on. We have the middle button, which is to switch between a single color. Then the third button, I would like if that was actually like reprogrammable, like I would just set that to like the rainbow mode, but instead it's a music reactive mode. And you can go ahead and press the music mode multiple times to cycle between different like music reactive modes. This one is kind of like the rainbow one, I guess, where, you know, it can do multiple colors on the light strip at the same time. Okay, now that we're at the setup, this is a good time to show you how big of a difference the nano leaf triangle lights make. So if I turn those on, sure, the back of me is illuminated, but if my camera's over there, that's not gonna be much help. But if we turn these nano leaf X-shaped lights on, look how big of a difference that makes. So you can actually see me. <laughs> GoV did send me this light strip, a long time ago, it's a really good light strip. They're not paying me to say anything about the light strip. They legit just sent me the product and it's been around for quite some time. And even now, I would have no problem in saying this is probably the best value LED light strip on the market in 2022. I just, I don't see many companies coming close to what GoV have achieved. They have a lot of things that they've done right with their app and just the whole light strip in general. However, there is one problem and one of the biggest deal breakers for me about this light strip and honestly about pretty much the entire GoV lineup is the lack of Apple HomeKit support. That is hands down the only missing feature. Apart from that, this is nearly a flawless light strip. Like, <laughs> I have nothing bad to say about it apart from the missing Apple HomeKit feature. But that is only a problem if you're on an iPhone. So if you're on an Android, 
good for you. Apart from that tangent and apart from that disclaimer that yeah, Govi did send me the light strip, I just really wish it had Apple HomeKit support because my current workaround is I've plugged this light strip into an Apple HomeKit uh, smart plug. I've plugged every other Govi device also into an Apple HomeKit compatible smart plug. That is basically your workaround. I have gone ahead and opened up the Elgato Stream Deck software. All you have to do is go over to this button here, which is the Elgato store. I don't know if any of the apps are actually paid for. I don't even know why it's called a store, but all you gotta do is search up GoV. You just press on that, you install it. And once you've installed it, you should see the GoV controller pop up uh, somewhere in like the main homepage, I guess, of your Stream Deck software. I've gone ahead and dragged the on off switch right there. And the first thing it asks me is to connect the API key to this software. So all you gotta do is go over to your Govi app, head over to the profile icon in the bottom right, press on the settings cog in the top right of your screen, scroll down to about us. Then you should see an icon pop up saying apply for API key just above the app version. You don't even have to type in a lot, just say like, hey, I wanna link it with my Elgato Stream Deck. That's it, that's all you need to do. Then once you have your API key, you can connect, boom, that's it. Desk, no way, no way that this is just gonna work just like that. I almost don't believe it. That was almost too simple. I'm almost doubtful that this will work. Okay. It wasn't working at the very beginning, but after one minute, it legit started working fine. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what changed. I just turned the app off on my phone. I <laughs> just locked my phone and it started working fine. Maybe I just had to do that. Pretty good, man. And it just goes back to the previous known effect. If we switch it to the single color mode, just white, and we press the icon, yeah, man. Seems to respond just fine. If we turn it off via the physical switch, can we turn it back on? via the Stream Deck? Yes, we can. I gotta say, I didn't actually know if it was gonna work, to be entirely honest with you. I kind of thought it wouldn't because initially I actually thought this light strip was Bluetooth only, but I'm wrong. It's both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, so it has support for your Amazon A-L-E-X-A or, or your Amazon Echo devices or your Google Assistant, you know, Google Home devices as well. Of course, the one lacking feature, Apple HomeKit, please, but it doesn't have it, unfortunately. I gotta say, for the money this light strip costs, all the things it can do is actually mind blowing. The fact that this legitimately works with the Stream Deck rather flawlessly. Like it's almost just as responsive as the whole Nanoleaf integration. <laughs> like for the light strip that costs this little, I approve, mate. This is pretty damn good. Whilst we're on the topic of RGB and LED light strips, just before I end the video, I thought I'd mention the newest addition to the PC build the Fantex Neon LED light strip. I've actually cut this one to size, so it actually fits perfectly under my PC case to add like some underglow lighting. And of course, I've gone ahead and plugged it via a three pin five volt ARGB cable into the Razer Chroma ARGB controller hub so that we have per LED control right there through the Chroma Studio. So we can do, of course, any lighting effect you could possibly imagine. It's mad how many LED lights they actually packed into this one LED light strip here. Like this is probably like 40 centimeters long or 45. Crazy how many LEDs there are, but it makes so the effects are super smooth, very well diffused as well. So this is a light strip I can stand behind. I would recommend the Fantex Neon LED light strip. It's pretty damn good. But I'm gonna leave today's video here. Thank you so much for watching as always. Links to everything in the setup, of course, will be in the description down below. And tomorrow's video, I'll actually go ahead and cover my cable management throughout this entire setup. As you can probably see, the cable management throughout the whole setup has gone to an entirely different level. No cables in sight. It is absolutely godlike to say the least. I'm very happy with it. I'll show you everything I did, all the products I used, and uh, some good tips and tricks that you can do as well to improve your own cable management for your own desk setup to of course improve your productivity and everything. You, like, you wanna have a clean working environment. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I'll see you then.